With My Hero Academia having just wrapped up in Weekly Shonen Jump, and with Jujutsu Kaisen getting an end date confirmed and only having five chapters left to wrap up, it seems like Weekly Shonen Jump is in a bit of a tumble at the current moment. Is what you're probably thinking, but we have to realize that there are still a bunch of series left still within Weekly Shonen Jump or even not exactly in the physical magazine. Whether it be on Viz for digital only or whether it be in the actual physical magazine, there are a bunch of series that we still have left to enjoy. Series like One Piece, which is still going so strong. Hunter Hunter's coming back. Chainsaw Man just keeps on deciding to blow everybody's minds with what happens week by week by week and maybe bi-weekly. And even though Black Clover isn't in Weekly Shonen Jump and moves over to Jump Giga, we still have a lot of time left with that with its release schedule. But even disregarding all of those heavy hitters, we still have a ton of amazing series to look forward to still. Series like Spy Family, Kagura Bachi, Sakamoto Days, Undead Unluck, Akane Banashi, Mission Yozakura Family, Me and Roboko, The Elusive of Samurai, Don Don, and much, much more. Hell, you can even add in Ruri Dragon. Exactly. What the f But even with me saying all this, it's not like I don't understand where a lot of people's minds at with the current state of Weekly Shonen Jump. Yes, a lot of the big heavy hitters that bring people into Weekly Shonen Jump in the first place are going to be leaving the magazine. And it's kind of sad to see, but this doesn't mean that more series like those won't be coming. I mean, for God's sakes, who knows? Sakamoto Days is going to be getting its first season very soon. That may blow up and eventually become like, I don't know, the next big My Hero Academia or something. Or what about Donadon? There has been so much talk about it, especially with that opening getting leaked or just all of that stuff from Netflix getting leaked. I am 100% sure and confident that Donadon will be a massive hit. Also, just saying, when Donadon blows the absolute f*** up, let that be a lesson that not everything has to be animated by MAPPA for it to be amazing. Hashtag stop glazing MAPPA, please. The thing that I find the most intriguing with Weekly Shonen Jump is just that there can be manga series that do well overseas and are well received in Japan, but they don't get that global fame until an anime hits the shelves. For instance, let's take a look at Demon Slayer episode 19. I mean, yeah, people were watching and loving Demon Slayer. The animation was beautiful. The quality of it was top tier, but I did not see people talking about it like people, people talking about it until the 19th episode dropped. I'm talking celebrities, streamers, YouTubers, everybody, even people who don't associate with anime were talking about that episode. And then, well, you know, Demon Slayer success now. So who's to say that Sakamoto Days won't have the same effect? Who's to say that when Kagurabachi gets an anime, it's not gonna be the biggest fucking thing we've ever seen in my right, people? <laughs> Plus, not to mention, there's the whole idea of authors who have made series in either another magazine or in Weekly Shonen Jump returning to create a brand new series. Look, sure, Kishimoto failed, but not everybody's Kishimoto. But Kubo's doing pretty fine. It's currently working well for Ken Wakui of Tokyo Avengers. He's making Astral Royale in Weekly Shonen Jump right now. To add another one onto the list. How many of your goofy goobers knew that the author of Assassination Classroom is currently making The Elusive Samurai? And who's to say that either Horikoshi or Akutami won't return to Weekly Shonen Jump? Horikoshi, if you are listening to my prayers, please come back better than ever for a brand new series. I love your art. Going on a little side tangent, I fully believe that Horikoshi has learned his mistakes from making My Hero Academia, and if he ever returns to Weekly Shonen Jump, he will fully avoid all of those issues. But taking an even different approach, who's to say that there's not a new upcomer coming coming soon that will just entirely sweep the competition. I mean, that is what's gonna be happening soon. It's very well possible considering that Jump's Next Gen Battle Manga Awards is gonna be happening sooner or later, especially considering that we just got the judges announced. With the judges being Kohei Horikoshi, Yuki Tabata, Gege Akutami, and Taite Kubo, we are bound for somebody who is going to deliver nothing but quality. And then not to mention at the end of the year, we're also gonna get Jump Festa. So I'm sure there's gonna be a bunch of other announcements about manga series that are in Weekly Shonen Jump, probably gonna be getting an anime series soon. If we're making this a thing where we come back to this and see if I was right or not, I'm calling Akane Banashi by the time that Jump Festa goes on. And throwing another random possibility, who says that an upcoming or currently airing manga series or anime isn't gonna just get a movie because apparently we all really like anime movies getting adapted. Still don't know why it's the most popular thing ever nowadays, but sure, let's go with it. Suffice it to say, I have a lot of hope for the future of Weekly Shonen Jump. I am very much so optimistically looking forward to seeing what comes up, what gets introduced, what gets an anime, and what just kind of dies. Weekly Shonen Jump is like the stock market. You never know what's going to happen. It could go up, it could go down. It's an unpredictable son of a bitch.
But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be the end of this video. This is a big ramble session that I just wanted to put out there. I don't know. If you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to go ahead and drop a like and comment down below what your favorite part of it was, or if you agree with anything that I'm saying, or if there is an underrated series currently running in Viz or Weekly Shonen Jump that you think people should check out more. Also, be sure to subscribe because the majority of you who watch my videos aren't subscribed. So let's boost that number up a little bit. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ziga Media, and I will catch you all in the next one. Take it easy.